The Walking Dead. Okay. I'm a massive Walking Dead fan. It's probably my favourite TV series. Maybe of all time. Um, probably since... At least since The X-Files. Yeah, Walking Dead. Loved it. I remember seeing the trailer when uh, the trailer came out. And thinking this show is going to be awesome all right now granted this isn't set in that world this is I don't know is it loosely based on the um, comic books as well I don't know or is it its own universe I don't know but anything Walking Dead massive fan Except for a couple of episodes of that Tales of the Walking Dead um, TV series. A couple of those episodes were absolutely ridiculous and stupid. But yeah, I'm a big Walking Dead fan. So I'm going to give the Telltale Games Walking Dead a playthrough. So this is... Season 1. Let's jump into it. Choose a display style. Standard. More help from UI and feedback when you make important choices. Minimal. Turn off UI. Hints. Help and choice notification. Yes. I don't want all this UI stuff all over the screen distracting me from the uh, immersion of the game. So we'll turn all that off. Episode 1. A new day. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. You have a limited amount of time to make a choice. Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Silence is a valid option. Every time? Every time. We got what looks like a 1091E near P3 exit 285. All cars have to keep on the lookout for 91B in the area. I followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. You're from Macon then? Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. I always wanted to work a murder case, like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in, with all due respect. A real shame, that is. Hell, the whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. Any of that seem important to you? All of it. But that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on a six year. 
You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Not really. Well, too bad. It's my car. You might have the right to remain silent, but it don't mean I gotta be. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Are available for coming and before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's got to stop. But that's government property and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. This other time... <laughs> Safer in here anyway. Thirsty. Ah! Fuck! My leg! Well, oh. he did. Why the hell did he have his gun out? Hey! Hey, officer! Are you alright? I'm still cuffed back here! The sensitivity of this sticks a bit. Oh, we gotta get out of here, we gotta get out of here. Damn it. Come on, kick out of buddy. I need to drag myself out that window. Stick move along the car. All right. yeah, come on, we've got to get that shotgun. Come on. Uh, 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 
Looks empty. Of course it is. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. Yeah, but it'll make a good weapon if you get jumped by a zombie, so pick it back up, idiot. At least hit him with the butt of the shotgun. Don't put that. It'll in. be easier to carry with these cuffs off. Okay, okay so we've got to go get the keys. Yeah, this is how idiots get bit. Heading over to something that's dead. Supposedly. Officer! Pick that gun up. And smack him in the freaking head with it. But no, we're gonna limp over here. Turn the else around. God damn. Grab those things quickly. Yeah, that's yeah. Drop the keys right near his mouth. I suppose this guy has no concept of what's going on. He doesn't know about zombies yet, but stupidity. I don't know if I want to grab them keys. I'm gonna stomp. Can I stomp on his head first? Uh, he's got a he's got a pistol there. Why can't I grab that? How long were you unconscious for? Wait, who's up there? Help! Go get someone! There, there's been a shooting! Or not. Get up, idiot. Hello? Anybody? Hmm. 
no ladder. I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg the way it is. Alright, so we need something to patch up my leg. Maybe there's someone up there. Help! Anybody up there? Yell too loud, buddy. Tea set. I'd fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. Bourbon isn't really going to help you right now. Somebody! Hear. Yell if you can hear me! Maybe you should, should like, quit yelling. I wonder if anybody's home. Uh, no point grabbing a hose to strangle a zombie, I suppose. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Ah! Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. Yeah, I think. Them I guess people already. might need more help than I do. Look at a bowl of fruit. What if we want to look at a bowl of fruit for? I suppose you need to eat. It's fake. Damn. Oh, Jesus. You don't live here anymore. Good on you, you idiot. Now you're covered in blood. Hmm. The Marsh House. That's a Savannah area code. But that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. Oh, weapon. Oh, what are we here? What's that beeping? Uh, it's probably the answer machine or smoke lighter. Not important right now. We need to find something to use as a weapon. Fork, that'll do. This place has been ransacked. Just about anything worthwhile is gone. How do you know? You haven't checked everything yet. Leave no cupboard unturned. <laughs> Shut up! I'll be here in a minute. Three new messages. Three new messages? Okay, so that's an answer machine. Dude, you might have wanted to check that was actually water before you drank it. Okay, so there's nothing else in here. Let's see what this freaking beeping is. Well, it's the answer machine. Figure that out. Maybe there's something on there. Three new messages. Message one, left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra.
Asia, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message 2. Left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3. Left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. Daddy? Huh? Radio, dude. Hello? You need to be quiet. Kid's smarter than you. Are you okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me, but I'm hiding until my parents come home. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Where are you? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Bit trusting kid talking to a stranger. <laughs> Don't tell Clem the babysitter's dead. Okay then. I died. Bitch babysitter got me. I had no idea what. Oh, come on. This guy's got the worst. What am I doing? What am I doing? Kick it! Kick! 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 kick. Ah! Make sure, buddy. Make sure. And again. Nailed it. Man. Hi there. Did you kill it? Um. I don't know. I think so. Sometimes they come back. Have you killed one? No, but they get shot a lot. You've been all by yourself through this? 
Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Go for help before it gets dark. Get out of here once the sun goes down. Um, there's no point getting out of here when the sun goes down. That's too dangerous. We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Let's go. Stay close to me. You don't want to check the house for stuff first, buddy? We're just going to leave. Guess so. Hey, wait, 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 Get back here. Don't run off without me. Oh, man. I ain't never getting home to Mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. These idiots are worried about food. Clem. Clementine, come on. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. You know what? The tree has does sound like it could be a good idea. No? Yeah, hey, man! Up. Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. Do you know what the hell this is? No idea. So you've seen them then. You could say that. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... Her babysitter. Her parents are out of town. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... Your monster's coming. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. As babysitters go, I'd say her parents owe you a tip.
Hey, Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Is Maggie live here? Is this your Herschel farm or? Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He's the babysitter. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. The, the greens. Let's have a look. Oh, Maggie Ray. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Yeah, could, could be, be worse. worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Special, though. <laughs> How'd this happen? I don't even remember. It's crazy back there in the city. Hmm. It must be. What type of danger has the girl seen? Who knows? She had a few lonely days with nothing but the dead keeping her company. I still just can't imagine it. Consider yourself lucky. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. Um, looking after her until we, uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right, then. I don't want to be letting him know I was uh, in the back of a cop car. It smells like... Then they might not trust me. Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like that. I missed my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. So it must, it's based on the comic books. I love it, baby. <laughs> it's 
Herschel Green, not Herschel Re. They were the Re family in the TV series. I haven't read the comic books, so the TV show is the storyline I wanted to focus hey, on. Hey, get up! <sighs> All right, Doofus, who are you? I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in no offense. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable trait lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Um... Maybe. We'll see how things shake out with this Herschel guy. <laughs> Good luck with that. He's a hard ass. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Okay, so I can walk around. Let's go suss this guy out. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Hey there, uh, Kenny. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Boat. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? Well, I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nah, nah, no, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. See you. Nothing, eh? Hey there, girls. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? 
I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. And normal ain't so great either. No, I used to. I was let go a little while back. Well, that's too bad. Well, I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's oh. peaceful here, no? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Ixnay on the people eating each other, eh? In front of the kid? Come on. Just an empty barn. Go up into the barn house. Barn house. Farmhouse. This place is huge. Seems like those two are getting along. Can I go upstairs? Nope. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. How you doing, Duck? Good! I'm gonna drive the tractor! I'm the foreman! Lift with your back, Sean! <laughs> how you doing, Duck? Good! I'm gonna drive the tractor! I'm the foreman! Oh, we're stuck Lift with loop. your back, Sean! You're in the Matrix, Lee. Wake up. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bytes to length, that sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Damn. Oh shit, damn. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... Bastard. Poor girl's brain's in. Whoa. I couldn't do that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? I'm not quite sure where my ex-wife is. Ah. Oh. Yeah. For sure. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. I was just over there. He wasn't there before. Sean's still working on that fence. All right, Ducko. Are you going to tell me about your tractor? Again? How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm going to drive the tractor. <laughs> I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. Okay. You only had one line written for this, or so let's head off.
You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. I'm not sure I follow. How'd you get out of Atlanta? Oh no, here we go. I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon, with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Go! I'll get my gun! I could help them both. Look at him. You thought wrong. And now... Please... Just go. Get out! And never come back! You got to that do? ride to make it if you want it. If I held Sean first, would Doctor survived? Or is it basically just you've got to pick who's going to live in that situation? This is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. Where are we? Oh, 
mistaken. Look! Hey there! You hang friendly? On, hang, on. hang on. Trucks hang on, run buddy. out of gas. See? Fuck! die either when i say that door stays shut no matter what i fucking mean it we don't know who these people are they could be dangerous worse they could have let them right to us where the hell is your humanity they would have died out there we have kids with us i see one little girl what is it i i have to pee i'd go out there again in a second I bet you would. You're a dumb, careless kid. I would too! In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's the leader here. But it looks like she's losing control of her people. If you were in my shoes, you'd be the... Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten! He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body. We'll dig one hole. No! I'm cleaning him up! There's no bite! He's fine! Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen! We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten! Shut up! We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in! Kenny! Stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We'll get this kid out of here. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Lee, stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. <laughs> upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. Do you? You're not fucking acting like it. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Fuck you and her. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Key's behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch! She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, when she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. And that boy is the ball game. Then we deal with it then. But right now, we're just freaking everybody out. Then get ready to deal with it, because that boy is it's bitten. not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! Knock this guy out. Happily. Jesus! Oh, oh man. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Door. Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Man. 
who's the crack shot? You okay? Just great, thanks. because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was... Uh, uh, Dad! Uh, uh, uh. I did try to get him to calm down. Can it, asshole? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. We'll get in there somehow. Thank you so much. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible, so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel, not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it, and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Got it, boss. So now they're trusting this canny to be a leader. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. That stupid old guy hadn't have freaking carried on about that kid being bitten. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. And you, you stupid idiot, telling that kid to go and open that toilet door by herself. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. It's batteries. Nothing. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Good with a gun, but not very bright when it comes to checking a radio for batteries. Just stand there staring at it, wondering why it doesn't work. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> uh, no. I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Um, not uh, now. Not right now. Alright, let me know if you want to. Keep that door shut, you idiot. It's a 
batteries, eh? No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. Library. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Fan a battery. Need one more. Hey Lee, maybe punching him wasn't such a good idea. There were worse plans. Says the guy who didn't get punched in the mouth. Anyway, we, Cat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? Well, the family's dead, so... That's awful, Lee. Yeah, well... She seems to be handling herself all right. She's just a little girl, Ken. Lee says she spent days on her own. That takes toughness. But you have no idea what sort of emotional damage is happening to her every second her family is gone. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? I don't know. Well, wouldn't they be at their house or somewhere like that? Cat, it's not our business. Uh, I'm not sure they made it. We passed some houses on the way in and things are pretty bad here. Well, you just don't know. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? Well, you could have tried to save Sean. It happened pretty fast. Well, I, I guess. Kid, I suppose, but I, I can't know. stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves over We it. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice that killed Sean. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Did we save Sean? Your kids probably Trying did. to let it go. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. A chocolate bar. Hey, Duck, look. Try to get some rest, hon. It's not much, but here. For the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more... of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. Yeah, look, your dad, look at the size of him, was gonna pick up a little boy and throw him out in the street because he thought he was a bit... when he wasn't bit. Your dad deserved a smack in the mouth. 
What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. He's got a temper. Ah, fuck you. Yeah, he doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? We've got kids here. Family. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, barely seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dowd hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. So he, his parents owned this place. That explains why it was an option in that conversation to uh, Kenny. What have I got in my hand? It's not much, but here you go. I picked up two. Thank you. Up. Of course. Hey there. Hi. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. Still, huh? Yeah, it wasn't much. I know, Glenn. I'll see if I can find something else for you. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I think so. Uh, being good is good. Despite the circumstances. Yep. <laughs> we'll sit tight. Okay. About as good at small talk as I am. What was in this door back here? The pills are in there. I don't know, do you really want to open that door? Find anything? Just 
Just a picture of whoever was here. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. Well, good. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. That's why I've been keeping my mouth shut. I don't need people getting all riled up, freaking out. My parents came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. So, first aid kit, first aid kit. First aid kit? Yeah, you said that already. Open it up. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Everyone out there seem alright to you? Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for him. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. What's that? This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. I ought to clear a path to open in that door. I should go give the batteries to this chick first. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. <clears throat> Things have been scary, huh? Yeah. It's not good. I don't know why everyone is crazy. Neither do I, Clementine. Nobody does, I don't think. I bet my dad does. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. <sighs> Why 
don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Because they're dead. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't know. I'm just sorry for being mean. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I'm not a bad guy, okay? Things happen and we didn't talk much after that. My parents don't talk to me when I get in trouble. I can relate. Ow! Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. Let's have a look at that finger. How? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Does it hurt when I do this? A little... not too much. You sure? Yeah. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Batteries to this uh, go out here before we go through. Want to head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I. Uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? I don't know, kid. Your guess is as good as mine. It's complicated. Sometimes things happen or you do things and you can't explain them. Let's uh, head back to the others. Alright, don't you die on me, you old bastard. Alright. Gotta go give these batteries to this woman over here first. If I can find her. So just wanna make sure that I'm not gonna miss out on doing that if I go through that door, because that's probably where the medicine is and then after that I that might be. Hey there. Oh. This is Glenn and uh I'm kinda in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group. And a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? Awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. And you got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. 
Alright. Can I please give this battery to you, Carly? But I think it's two batteries though, doesn't it? That radio. I've only got one. I thought I collected two. Or oh, are they candy bars? This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. I'm still looking for batteries for that thing. Thanks, I appreciate it. Alright, so now we've got to get some medicine for this old guy. We've got to go and help Glenn. So where's this other battery? Another candy bar. It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. What's that? Oh, battery. Here we go. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. Well, switch her on. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. She's probably got him in backwards or something. Common mistake. Matt, what are you doing, dude? You just swapped them around. Swap them around again. There you go. Now close it. Um, power. You fixed it. Continues to spread unchecked. The estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full, uh, my my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Uh, WABE wishes you and your loved ones. God bless you all. That ain't gonna help. Candy bar? Here. I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, okay. um, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't need it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. Thanks. Already gave her one. I just thought, you know, after hearing the bad news about your partner back at the station, you might want a candy bar. Make you feel better. Alright, let's go get this medicine. For this bloke who doesn't really deserve it, but can't have him dying. Oh, can I open this drawer? It's the remote to my dad's TV. Oh, well, there's the TV. Let's see what's on. That's what I figured. Oh, damn, we gave the batteries away. Maybe we needed the batteries. No, because the batteries work to turn it on. Dad told me he bought that TV to watch baseball in here. But I caught him watching his stories more than a few times. Ah, yeah, his stories, eh? <laughs> well... It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. Man, I gotta find keys. My parents came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. 
Or a protector, at least. Yeah, we s said that already. How's your finger? It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. I wonder where the keys are. Maybe they're at the front. So that guy said we could go out that door. There's a locked cage behind that door. Maybe we've got to go out there. So you guys see any keys? Keys, keys. You think he would know where the keys are considering this was his parents' place? They've got to be outside. How are we doing? Good. Wanna go have a look around outside? Not really, but I'm looking for some keys. Let's have a look around. Okay. left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all of this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Alright buddy, look for some keys. Think you can do anything with this? Yeah. I used to fiddle around with stuff like that when I was a kid, but there's not much to do with it now. Man, I miss my robots. You're a strange guy, Doug. I know. Yeah, Doug. This is a brick. That place is full of TVs and electronics. Ooh. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Oh, what's this? He can check his photo to see if his parents are out there. Is that what he's going to... That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Right, so I've got to go out there, right? Eh? All right, this is what I'm going to do. Going to turn on these TVs over here with this remote if it'll work. Then I'm going to go out there and try and get those keys. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Why didn't you say that before, buddy? Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? That got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. Bugger. 
What if I can't broke the window? That brick. What do you mean you can't reach the brick? How'd you end up here? I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time... On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. So... It's coming this way. How am I supposed to reach the uh, brick? You tell me I've got to go back inside and find something to reach this bloody thing. It's a combination lock. Doc, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Did anyone ever have it? Look, man. There were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. We're also party to some egregious fire code violations. Well, how am I supposed to get out there? I've got to go back inside. Man, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. How do we go back in the door behind us? Doug. Buddy. Let's head back inside. Okay. I need to find something to reach that brick, which is like less than an arm's length away. But he can't reach out and grab it. Alright, Doug, you were no help. We're missing something. Hey. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. How are we supposed to get out there and help Glenn? Why did that say talk to Carly? She's... Well, maybe she's got something that we can reach out there and put the brick with. How are we doing? If you don't mind, I think my family and I are gonna rest for a bit. Let me know if that asshole over there takes a turn for the worse. You got it. No one wants to talk to me? Jeez. Alright, Carly. Hey, Carly. That radio sign off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. You're really fine. All of your colleagues are probably dead. You don't think I know that? Of course I'm not fucking fine. God, leave. Just leave me alone. Sorry. Man, if I leave here, how are we supposed to leave here unless we go out the front? Hey there. Hey, remember me? The guy you basically just told to piss off a second ago? I'm back. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Do I really have a choice? Yeah. Let's go. Are we gonna come back? That guy's gonna be dead and he's eating everybody. <laughs> Shit. Get down! Did 
you see that? Sure did. Be ready to shoot. Toby Glenn. Guys! Oh, man. I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn. Uh, right then wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go. Now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. Fire racks over there. Okay, over there. this is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. Noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. Okay. Yeah, she's eating down. something. So we got that one right there, close. Okay, um... Okay. We can hide by that RV, if we're quiet and keep our heads down. Before we do that... The girl's behind that door. Those two seem to be on the scent. We can hide by that pickup. Mm. There's one back there, trying to get into a room. But I didn't see anyone actually in there. I saw one lurking on the other side of that car. You did? That's oh, yeah. everything I know, man. But, you know, yeah. watch out. What? I'm pressing down, pressing down, pressing down. And the idiots just stayed there. Maybe you, could, you can't peek over more than three times or something. You are dead. <laughs> Nothing even happened to... Well, the zombie just looked at me. No cinematic or anything. side of that car. Alright, alright. And over here. We can hide by that pickup. There might be something in the pickup. Then we go the other way there is a fire axe. We gotta get behind that door. Those two seem to be on the scent. We gotta get them off the scent. That's everything I know man. But mm. you know Watch out. Take too long to get there. If I go on the long way around, she could be dead. Where to next? We can probably make it over to the RV. Or down to the truck if we're quick and quiet about it. Oh, I reckon we go... We go this way. I wonder if there's anything in the pickup. 
that's why well, you, you're just going to wonder about it. Have a look. Ooh, hello. If you break the glass, they're going to hear it. I think I found a pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. Yeah, which we can't do by breaking the glass. Reckon. How are you going to kill that one by the car without attracting the others? Well, I was planning on getting that screwdriver. We can do something with that car, I bet. If it weren't for that fellow lurking near the front. Oh, looks like this wasn't the way to go. The door on the other side of this car is probably open. We need to go back. not coming. We're a little naked out here, except for Carly's gun, and we can't use that much. Jeez. I'm not sure I can take them both out myself, even if I had a weapon. I've got a photo, I'm gonna paper cut him to death. Decapitation isn't an option with a photograph, so. I don't know. We, we go back. Why didn't Carly come with us? There's a truck over there. Maybe we can find you a weapon. If I break the glass, they're gonna hear everything. Fine, let's go break the glass. Let's be stupid about this. Let's break the glass. Ow! Hey man, that drew some attention. Be careful. Done trying to punch out window. I think I found a pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. Well, I, I don't know, man. Can't open the door, can't break the glass. To the brick wall we go. Back to the RV we go. Look, there's no options. Things gonna see us. We're done. We're going to need weapons. No shit, Sherlock. How about some suggestions instead of telling me stuff I already know? We have limited options. Okay. And all you're doing is sitting there staring at me. Yeah. <laughs> 
Anything over this way? Want to head over to the right? We should keep looking around for weapons. If you say that one more time, Glenn, I'll put you in the ground myself. This screwdriver. Don't try to punch out window. Why? I know. I, d I think it's a dumb idea too, but there's no other option. Like, what are we supposed to do? I push up. It goes to the window, right? I push right. It goes to the window. I push left from here. It goes down. Air crawling attracts the others. Something but like am I missing something? Trying to shoot that guy from here is probably a bad idea, huh? How are you going to kill that one by the car without attracting the others? See, see the sticker on the bumper here? It's happening right now. Right. He's not going anywhere. He's not going anywhere. Shift your butt over towards him. Take him out with something else. I don't get it, man. Over there. I've got a window here that won't let me break it. It's a door that I can't open. I've got two useless morons over to my right. <sighs> right, maybe there's something else in here. Stuff these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. <laughs> this is really starting to annoy me. Was I supposed to get that brick back at the pharmacy before I came here? Then I would have that brick on me to smash that glass, but then that would alert all the zombies. Let's go to the RV again. Come on. Let's go to the RV again. Ah, oh, Glenn. Let's just get eaten, eh? Let's just get eaten. I mean, what's the point? We can't do anything. There's nothing... There's nothing for us here. We can't do anything. Won't let me go after this guy. Won't let me go after that guy.
We can't break the glass. Let's just die. Let's see what happens. Come on. Zombie, come here. Well, I thought maybe if I did let it see me, it had come towards us, we could take it out somehow. There's like, there's, there's nothing here. I can't climb up from the roof of the RV. I'm not even going to ask Glenn what to do. Look out, is there anything on the ground out there? No. I can't run around behind the zombie. Okay, what have we got over here? Head back to that wall. Safe there. Uh, am I missing something on the ground out here or something, maybe? Do. Let me open that. I'm gonna have to turn on these uh, item notifications. Detect selectables because this is ridiculous. There's got to be something ridiculous that I'm not seeing. Get door handle. Pick in the truck. Yeah. Oh, I know. Okay. Yeah, we already know about all that stuff. Oh, there's nothing else over here. Let's run over here. Nothing over there. Now let's go over here. They really want to get into that room. Okay, now let's peek around the corner. There's nothing over there. I think you're gonna need more than your fists, man. <sighs> See, yeah. I wasn't missing anything, there just isn't anything. Am I stuck because I didn't do something before I came here? Do I have to load up a previous checkpoint? Well, turning that on didn't help. So I might as well turn it back off again. Nothing. I've got to be stuck because of something. It's got to be bugged because I didn't do something before I came here. Smash done trying to punch out windows. No, smash it. Done trying to punch out windows. No, smash it. Done trying to punch out windows. No, smash it. Done trying to punch out windows. Something with that car, I bet. 
If it weren't for that fella lurking near the front. Stop going to that window. We're going back over here. Come on, guys. I haven't been over here before. Let's come over here. Pretty cool, eh? Good little spot. Yeah. I reckon we could just stay here for the rest of the game. Be safe. Down, dipshit. Hey, uh, Glenn, wh what about if we go over here? We haven't been over here before. Come over here, Glenn. Yeah, it's another cosy little spot. Hey, Glenn. Buddy, what do you say we go back over here? Yeah, let's go back over here, Glenn. Come on. Carly, nice to see you here. Hey, Glenn, buddy, I say we go back over here. Come on, let's go back over here. It's gotta be bugged. <laughs> Just <laughs> uh, He's not going anywhere. Neither are we. Just just going around in circles. I'm trying to look at things as I'm running past, thinking maybe as I'm running past, I'll see something and be able to click on it. Down, you idiot. How many times did I go like this and look over here? I even had the item notification thingy on, I didn't see that pillow there before. Oh, a pillow. Well, we can use a pillow to muffle the sound of breaking that window. Um, there's a pick in the truck. I know there's a damn pick in the truck. I've been staring at it through that frickin' window for the last 20 minutes. A pillow. What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools, or making a bunch of noise. And none with pillows. Use your brain. The pillow's got to muffle it. Let's just use the pillow. I'm done trying to punch out windows. 
Really? I can't use the pillow? Really? Alright. Zombies, who wants a pillow fight? Come on. Yeah, let's pillow fight, zombie. Get out your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. That was sick. <laughs> All right. Progress. So now we push the car down there and take him out. That's going to make a bunch of noise. That's going to make too much noise. Spark plug? Take it out of gear, it rolls down there and hits him. It's gonna make a crap ton of noise. That could spell the end of all of us. Not a good idea. How do I back out? They really want to get into that room. Dude, I don't wanna. I don't wanna take the um. Take it out of gear. It's not giving me any other option. Back out, buddy. Close the door behind you. Back out. So it's not going to give me the option of backing out of here. It's a spark thing. A spark plug. You should hold on to that. It could come in handy. Let me get in the back of that truck. How many bullets she got? Let's get the winds over there, head upstairs, and get out of here. Now let's clear out the area around the RV. Yeah. You need a weapon to do that, and the ice pick is in here with a spark plug. Is it option? That's just gonna make noise. Let me see the spark plug. The porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Scramble of rain, pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Um, so, whose brain are we gonna scramble? Sneak up behind that car, I suppose. Get him. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay. Ready? Set.
next. I hope that girl's okay. What are you doing? Head. Take him out silently. I suppose if we use the car, the noise will bring the zombies down here after us. Then we can take him out. Alright. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice pick sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? Two more. That should help. I guess it's just up to me then. Upstairs. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay, we'll be right behind you. there we're here to help please just go away let's go guys in a minute if you open up we can take you somewhere safer we've got a group in town no 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 please. she's in trouble no. miss we're coming in maybe she's been she's trying to protect us Get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away. I'm bit. But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? When? I don't want that. <laughs> it's not Christian. Please, just leave me. Please go. What if you turn and follow us back to our group? I know, that was why I was locked away. I can't let this happen to me. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just 
you know, end this, and then, then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. We can't let you do that to yourself. Then do it for me! We need to get going. Give it to me, please! This is crazy! Please, step back. It's just two seconds, just one bullet, and I can be with my family, and it'll all be fine. Miss. Back up! Please! <sighs> Whoa! Whoa, take it easy. We just want to help. You can't. Miss, just relax now. You need to think this through. We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. Let's all just... Oh, no, no! no! Get out of here. Shit! Here they come! Right here, the gunshot is a little bit Get in! Everyone alright? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and... Well, yeah. We're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Well, maybe we can do that now. We've got a fire axe. Um, I can reach through the bars with that and get that. Because I've got to get those zombies in the street away. I'm guessing I'm going to get the brick thrown through the window across the street or something. I can't go out there with all the zombies between us and the guy with the keys. How you doing, Glenn? You know. Back to the motor in. How can it be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess, but that's not me. I'm not giving up. Not for anything. Good, man. Good. I guess she really wanted that gun. Seems like. Why didn't you tell Carly to just give it to her? It would have been a waste of a bullet. What do you mean? She was dead anyway. I'm not in the euthanasia business. Whoa, man. She was a person. She's gone now anyway. Do you know the combination for the lock on the gate outside? Why? Oh, you know. I thought I'd go stretch my legs. You're probably better off breaking it if you have to. Why? Why break the lock? Then we can't put it back on. Do you know the combination or not? What's your next move? I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the feeling, man. Try to get some rest. Huh. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, we could use the fire racks to just take down the door, right? We even need the keys. Here we go. Yeah, it was worth a shot. Keys it is, I guess. 
Yeah, when you had the keys. I mean, you, you could have went for the handle instead of just hitting the door. Hey, Doug. How we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. All right. For some reason, Glenn's been shady about this lock. I can't reach that brick. If I hit it with the axe, they're just going to come after us. Don't have a choice. Awesome. Now to distract those things carefully. It's the uh, quietest breaking of a lock I've ever heard. I can't reach that brick. Not that I've ever heard a lock break, but. I think it'd be louder than that. I'll give this brick. <clears throat> now what? Oh yeah, that's what I thought. Throw it through the window. Are you ready, Doug? on purpose. I'm getting some enjoyment. Were you really friends with this dude? Jeez. Don't take up wood chopping for a living anytime soon. Run! 
Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Don't want to talk to me? Fine. Oh, what are we going to find in here? Oh no. Oh, shit. We gotta hurry. Great. Someone whose parents owned this place and didn't know about the alarm system. Doc, come on baby, time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round right back! Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly-dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. Alright, that door's not locked anymore. Shit! You three, get on it! I'll get back as fast as I can! Stay away from the windows. Glenn, we need your help. Please hurry! It, see, that was the other thing. If we had to use a combination instead of ruining that lock, we'd be fine. Hey, Lee! If we don't make it through this, you should know that I think you're a great guy. Gee, thanks, Doug! Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know! <laughs> I should know what? Huh? You said I should know. Shit! Are you sure? Shit! What? Oh, shit! Okay, then. Clementine, can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Clementine, did you find anything? Nothing! The window is screwed! Go! Well, if we had that fire, we would be gone. I found something! get eaten today. Especially a good friend.
That old bloke I got his medication for him, he was just waiting for a chance to screw me over. Even after what I did for him. I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. You gotta do. And I gotta do this. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. I think you know what you're doing. Shit, man, do any of us? With Clementine, I mean. Earlier, you said you were clueless. I just want you to know that I look at you and I see the type of guy who figures things out. That girl's gonna be just fine. Thanks, Kenny. You got it. Kenny likes me. Um, where is Clem? How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. Well, I'm sure he liked you too. <laughs> you better have. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. Do you really want to know? I thought you needed the help. Ah, that makes sense. But it wasn't a choice like that. It, it was just something I did. I don't know why. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. Oh, better go help Clem. Duck's talking her ear off. Oh man, check this out. The 
his minigun on his shoulder. It's all you, like buddy. Pow, pow, I'll be pow. with you in a minute. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then... Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Hmm. Let me go deal with this. Oh man, Clementine, another thing. Oh, man. What do you want? You like my daughter? Her dad tried to kill me, so... Well, he did that because he knows that Lee Everett is a convicted murderer. And so will everyone else if you go near her. You hear me? I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. What'd you say, that poor Lily? I thought we'd be fine if we... I don't want to see spoilers. So we'll skip that. I don't get why they do that. You know, TV episode finish and they're like, next week on. Just change channel, mute it, whatever. Don't want to see that. I don't want to see spoilers of what's going to happen. I avoid as much spoilers as I can. I don't want to see what happens before it happens. So honesty, what's this stuff? Honesty lied to Herschel. You win 54% of players were honest. Who would you save, Duck or Sean? You win 30% of players chose Duck. Really? Only 30% of people chose poor little Duck? Man. So you can only save one. Loyalty side with Kenny. You and 54% of players defended Kenny, so it's pretty even. Mercy gave Irene the gun. You and 52% of players refused the gun, so it's even as well. Who would you save, Doug or Carly? 48% even as well. The whole Duck or Sean thing, that surprised me. Everything else split down the middle, but... 30% of people chose duck. Wow. Just let the kid die. Okay. Well, that's the end of episode one. It's cool. I like this game. So, see you in episode two.